uh, review how to change the carbon dioxide absorbent and this will be in the Esteva machine. Right here is the lever which with a safety system must be pulled towards you and turned down. That's so that it, someone just cannot brush by with their leg and open this because as you can see now there would be a big leak in the system. This machine also takes canisters of CO2 absorbent which fits then into the receptacle. When you unwrap this from the package you need to shake this over excuse me, a trash can so that you get out the extra dust and stuff. We do not want this going into the patient's lungs. On the bottom here you can see that there is a sealing ring, a rubber ring, so that you get a full sealing when you put this in here and then put it in your machine. You can also see that there is an open space here. So as the exhaled air comes through here, it comes up and is uh, meets all the four to eight mesh of the carbon dioxide absorbent granules. This will go here. And then again, you want to make sure that this is all lined up ready to go because there is another rubber ring right up here. And you put that up and you let that go back in. So again, pull this out to let it down. Put it back up. And snap it into place. Every time after you change an absorbent, you need to check and make sure that your circuit it does not have a leak, that it is t airtight to do this. Also, obviously, you cannot give a positive pressure breath if you do this during the middle of a case. So that doing, changing the absorb absorption, CO2 absorbent during the middle of a case is contraindicated here with this kind of setup. This right here is a valve that you can turn which will then let any water that has built up drain out of the receptacle. It's nice to put a little towel down there to be able to get that. Okay? All right. And that's how you change the carbon dioxide absorbent in the Esteva anesthesia machine.